What is going on guys? Today we have got a big boy, Prime Moment Cannavaro. Honestly, this card is fantastic. I'm so glad that I didn't pick him up literally like, I think, three days ago when I looked at him. He was extinct at 4 mil, mainly because nobody was selling him. Now he is coming in at about 1.7, 1.8, depending on when you're picking him up, and the card is cracked. 83 pace on the base, 97 defending, 88 physical. Obviously, 71 dribbling as well. A couple of nice little stats in there. He is 5 foot 9. And to be honest, I've loved absolutely every version of him. I believe, if I am correct looking at Footbin, his mid is technically the worst out of every single one of them, with the lowest pace. Obviously, defending, he's been pretty cracked in all of them. His base was, I think, packed quite a while ago. I think in the base icon upgrade, one of the first icons I got. And the same as last year. We managed to get him, and then we did get his prime moment last year. Absolutely phenomenal card. If you are looking at chem styles, you've got a choice to make. The big chemistry style that people are looking at is the catalyst, which is fair enough because that pace boost would be nice, as well as obviously that uh, passing increase. It would take his passing up to 73, giving him 82 short, 84 long, and the 93 pace. You could then either completely max out defending and take it to a shadow. You'd get a 99 defending, but you'll only receive a plus two bonus or you could go with the anchor that would make him a 96 rated center back but you'd only get up to 88 pace 99 defended but you'd also get 94 physical for me i would probably go with the catalyst i feel like having that extra bit of pet passing is quite nice his defending literally does not need to be touched and even his physicals 89 strength 86 aggression I feel like that is good enough at this point in the game, and obviously getting that 93 pace is massive. I probably wouldn't pick Shadow if I had to pick between Shadow and Anchor. I'd probably go with the Anchor. Obviously, then you've got the full round stats. 88 pace on a defender is still pretty fantastic, and to be honest, it's better than some defenders even with a Shadow on it. So for me, I would probably go with Catalyst, and then Anchor is second, and Shadow is third. So we're going to be trying with a Catalyst today, and honestly, I cannot wait. So let's jump into it. We've got solid player as the trait. Let's see how well he defends. The one thing with Cannavaro is normally he is everywhere. Already getting his first interception. That's a cracking ball from whoever that was. But honestly, he is a fantastic centre-back. I've loved every version so far. Last year was exactly the same. Even with his kind of height, which I feel like not necessarily puts people off, but... I feel like it's not the norm to have a five foot nine centre back. Having that agility balance, that quickness in that centre back role, as long as you're pairing in with someone who is absolutely massive, you are laughing with this card. Honestly, people will always kind of deter away from someone like Cannavaro. If you did have kind of like the Cannavaro Maldini link, you're absolutely laughing. We already get the second interception with him. And honestly, he is. He's, he's absolutely fantastic. And if you could get this card. If you could get him under a mil, then you're, abs you're literally just robbing EA. But he will take a while to get there. I'm hoping eventually, when we do get the Prime Moment Icon packs, that we can get someone like this in the pack. Someone big. I think last year we didn't get a huge amount in the packs, but we already had a Prime Moment Rio that was tradable. So him and Cannavaro together would actually be unstoppable. Into Cannavaro again. Honestly, just the lad himself is just phenomenal. Honestly, he is a very, very good centre-back. He's one of the ones that, before even having the card, I'd put money on how good he'd actually be. And I don't do that with many centre-backs, other than the obvious. Rio, even Sol Campbell Prime Moment looks nice. Maldini, Desai, Blanc, all of them are top tier. Why I didn't go for the header, you can see him just winning everything. He's five foot nine and still wins everything in the air in terms of kind of like dead balls. We see him again. Muller's got absolutely no chance. I cannot believe this guy has got a, uh, I think it what was it, flashback or moments Muller. There is literally no reason to have got that card. Even making interceptions up in the attack zone. It's going to go back to Ronaldo, who's going to just see it through. It's an easy finish. Literally straight from a corner. He's caught the ball, made the pass. It's a goal. Literally, this guy is in incredible. If you could get him as like a CDM version, now that would be incredible. It'd basically be the Italian Conte, in my opinion. He's just got stats that just work really well with this game. 
Cannavaro, beautiful. And even then, he's, I realized that he's only got 84 composure. And to be honest, I've been sprouting off that you normally need at least over 85. Not necessarily to make a player good, but at least to have the confidence in the player. And honestly, Cannavaro doesn't really make too many mistakes unless you literally are that, that guy making the mistake. Ooh, doesn't get through. Great save by Neuer in the end. Cannavaro versus David. David, David, either way. Managing to go across, and you can see just how quick he moves. is just amazing to see. Cannavaro is going to push on Werner offside. Cannavaro is going to play from the back. Obviously, you're not going to really run forward with him, so it makes reviews ten times worse if an opponent's really not pushing you. And that's really the kind of the the be all and end all of defender reviews is literally it kind of preys on the fact that you need to be attacked on, and sometimes you get things wrong, so you've got to really kind of push in. And if you have pinned him down, you kind of almost let him through to try and see if they can attack. And kind of Varro is watching Werner. All day long. The strength of him is beautiful. Even without the anchor. I still think that the catalyst has got to be the best way to go. Just purely for the fact that you get that massive pace increase. There's not many defenders that can get 93 on the base. Um, or um, on the chemistry style. Obviously then we've got another great interception. And it's just literally bringing the ball forward every single time. And goal. Oh, Edison with a save. Cannavaro and Carlos Alberto both doing work to keep the uh, the attackers at bay there. Cannavaro watching Aubameyang manages to win it again. Doesn't win it cleanly this time, but we still end up with the ball with the players around him. Cannavaro will be trying to be countered. He's going to pass it past him, and Carlos Alberto is going to, going to win it back for him. Obviously, in terms of partnerships, I feel like someone like a Maldini, like I said, is quite it's quite worth it. Someone like um, like a Varane for VVD, someone maybe a bit taller, because even though he is quite good at heading, you're not guaranteed every single time. And if he comes up against a, a CR7 or someone with a bit more of about him up front, he may not win absolutely everything. And you always want to have that kind of like that second man who you can kind of rely on more for the headers. So going into this big boy overall review, honestly, he's one that I've really wanted for a long time to try out. And hopefully we do get this guy at some point because he is fantastic. Everything about him is lovely. His base his base stats are brilliant. You want the catalyst on. 93 defender, shadows 94, anchors 96. You can kind of go by overall if you really wanted to, but I just feel like the benefits that you get from getting the passing up and the pace is much better. Anchor, like I say, is the next one. Yes, you kind of max out defending and not utilizing all of the upgrade, but you are taking a little cut on the pace, but you are getting the 99 strength, the big boy, but... I feel like his, his strength is already 89. You may see a little bit of a difference, but he's already pretty good on the ball. And how many times do you really go one-on-one -on -one with somebody in terms of dribbling with him? You're going to be going for that tackle. He's already got 98 stand, 96 sliding. Go with that catalyst. I feel like you'd, you'd definitely prefer it. In terms of icon centre-backs that you could go different then, obviously Maldini. 13 mil it's pretty understandable 88 pace on the base so that can go up to 98 which is just absolutely insane you already have the 98 defending 87 physical you've then got going down Nesta Puyol more more in the lower category Desai 85 pace again could go off a shadow or could go off a, a, an anchor again an anchor probably will pretty much round that stat off nicely and then you've got Coleman it's kind of one of the ones that's better as a CDM I find then we've got Rio absolutely phenomenal even Vidic I feel like he's kind of just underneath these players but he's definitely up there so Campbell fantastic you've got a whole host of cracking icon center backs if you was obviously going in for kind of like normal cards VVD Joe Gomez Varane um, you've even got a lot of specials actually I know people like Koscielny still um, and then you've got the likes of Denea you've got Fofana who isn't awful but icon wise you're looking pretty up there 
with your Maldinis, your Cannavaros, your Rios, your Desais. And I think Cannavaro definitely solidifies himself probably within the top six, I'd say, at the very minimum in terms of icon centre-backs and especially prime moments especially. Maldini's obviously sitting at top there with the pace, the height, the strength, the defending. He's just an all-round excellent player and it's hence why he's 13 mil. Hopefully we do get a chance to try that card out. But honestly, Cannavaro is fantastic. He's a 10 out of 10 for me. Hopefully you did enjoy. Let me know who you want in prime moment centre-back. Let me know down below bar from Maldini because he's way above the curve. Let me know down below. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.